the Wise Quick and Warfare, and today we're going to talk about pox. And as you can see in my hand, these weapons well will deal toxin damage and a lot of it. So let's go to our first build, and it is a heat and corrosive build. And we can see that we have a river mod, ladies and gentlemen. He has a river mod. He has a river mod. Oh my god! Yeah, and um, it has uh, a lot of damage, and it has a lot of damage and some extra toxin damage on top of that. So, we also have lethal momentum, so every time we throw that little poxy thing towards an enemy, it goes a little bit faster. And also, pistol ammo mutation, because this weapon doesn't have a lot of ammo. So, let's test it out in this mission right here, and... Oh my god. It works even better than I thought. So we can see that every time we throw this little poxy, or pox, I don't know, that it leaves a, a toxin cloud. Look at that. So it leaves that toxin cloud and also all the proc elemental damage on top of that. So, yeah, look at how amazing it is. These are pretty high, high level bastard, but doesn't matter doesn't matter and it leaves this cloud and they all have to walk through it and they die a little bit inside oh my god so let's test it out against this big heavy bastard and oh my god look at that look his 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 shield was gone and we could only see health and now it is dead it is dead so let's test it out against a group of large bastards and again it works amazing because of the heat damage as well because they get stunned a little bit and then the corrosive damage takes away their their armor and the toxin damage will take away their health so it is a a perfect trifecta of damage ladies and gentlemen and that makes this weapon amazing i don't even have to shoot it towards them i just shoot it to the ground and they stand on top of it and they die so I don't have to be accurate as well amazing so we have another build but this time without the ribbon mod so if you don't have that ribbon mod you can have this build look at that we have a little bit less corrosive damage and heat damage but then again you know we have the pistol ammo mutation we have the lethal momentum we still have enough damage right so let's let's just try it out again these bastards are coming towards me and we can see that even without the ribbon mod the ribbon mod is always great but look at that even without we still do enough damage to kill these bastards look at that they, they still get the heat damage they still get the corrosive damage and of course the toxin cloud will kill them all look at that works great the river mod helped, but even without, it still deals more than enough damage. Look at that. Bam. Right in his face. Another one. And now you're dead. Now oh, this thing is always pretty accurate. Look at that. Yeah. There we go. So, again, we have this big bastard. Let's see how fast it dies this time. And look at that. The health is, is already going down. And... It's dead! We did it! So now it is time for a radiation and viral build with 100% status chance, ladies and gentlemen. So we still have the pistol ammo mutation equipped as well, but no longer lethal momentum. But it doesn't matter. We have enough damage to kill them all. Look at them. Oh, you want to attack me, friend? Now attack your friends. Look at that. The radiation damage is doing its job. And they all stand in this group and their toxin damage will go into their lungs and they will all die horribly <laughs> yes it is working ladies and gentlemen my plan is working for world domination look at that yes they all they are all dying look at that big group of corpses uh, lying on the ground i'm just standing here now not even attacking anymore well ladies and gentlemen I guess this weapon um, is one to get. This is a great weapon. Pox, ladies and gentlemen. If you don't have it already, go go get it. Look at that. Look at those. I love the clouds. I'm just I'm just in love with them. 
And you're dead. Bye-bye, friend. So, let's talk about the pros and cons, shall we? So, first of all, when you shoot with the box, it deals a lot of toxin damage because of those little clouds. So, that is great. It also is fast reloading and it does not inflict self-damage. And it has a very high status chance. But it has a low ammo capacity, a small magazine, and it has a slow fire rate. And also a slow projectile speed. But we all uh, done away with those because of the great mods I equip. And you might be thinking that we are done now in this video, but there is still more, ladies and gentlemen. Because we had a little guest uh, on this mission, and it is none other than the big guy himself, the stalker. So let's let's wait for a second uh, till he arrives while I'm killing these wardens and saving this uh, captive whatever oh, look at that would you look at that who will it be i knew you would come thank you subject found you need to bring the captive to safety yeah sure all right now help me kill this uh, this crazy bastard will you where is he is he already here no Oh, you didn't like that, those bastards anyway. All right, here he is. Here we go. And um, you can see that my pox is no longer in my hands. I'm using a Supra, not the best. Um, now I'm using my Jatkitak. Uh, now that is the best. And look at that. The captive that I just saved is using the pox. Look at that. She is bleeding out, but still standing because of this, the power of the pox. So, there we go. So, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed. Check me out in all my other videos. And I hope to see you there. And until then, Madilio. Madilio.